Hello and welcome and today we shall just jump straight into the topic of uh, creating a virtual environment in command prompt in Python. So what I do, I just open the command prompt by typing cmd in the search bar and you can see that I'm in the different directory that is C drive. And I also want the goal is also to, you know, switch to another drive that is D drive. So what I do, I simply write D. So I come to the D drive here. And you can see that in my computer, I have got just uh, two drives, that is C and D. So I'll just show you here. So you can see here, I've got Windows, that is C and D. So in D drive, I want to create a virtual environment. And for that, I have to create a folder here. So what I'll do is I'll create a new folder. And this new folder could be, suppose, um, test underscore one. So now this folder, I want to navigate in this D drive through command prompt. So what I'll do is I will simply copy the path. Okay, test one, hit here, copy this path, control C, D, and just write CD, control V. So you will navigate to this path, which is test one. Now in test one, I want to create a virtual environment. How would I create it? So I will ask Python slash m and virtual env and the name of my environment suppose i write here project underscore ml that is machine learning project suppose i want to do and i want to do it in uh, suppose i write here okay let me take it simple uh, project ml so you see it will take some time to create a virtual environment because importing it is importing various packages and versions and it will create a separate you can see here in test one, okay, when I go back, I see in test one, I have created this project demo. Okay, this is a my virtual environment. When you will open it, you will see the scripts library and include and the Python environment. Now, this environment is still not activated because I want to work in this environment, I have to activate it. So for this, what I will do is, um, I can activate and start working in this directly or another practice is that I would I can create another folder here and I'll start working on this folder within this environment. It will be clear in just a minute. I'll just explain what I really mean to say. I write here files and um, so these will be the files of project which I'll be working and now I want to activate this. How would I do that? I will simply write dot the backslash and the name of my environment that is project underscore ml slash scripts i would activate these scripts so we understand that this has been activated because the project ml comes here in parentheses that means this project ml is activated now in this project activated environment i'm going to go to the files folder how would i go i would simply write here cd and i will write go to files Okay, so I am now currently into this file folder and now I will tell you the importance of this. Okay, so what I do is now I, I want to start coding and start working on this. I will simply open my Jupyter notebook and I will start working on this. So by default, it will be open in my default web browser. And this is you can see that. Okay, if I can zoom it a little and show you how it is. So this is my virtual environment, as you can see here. And now I can start working with various files and I'll, I can just create a new Python file here or a text file, whatever file I want. And uh, I can start working coding. Suppose this is zero one, you want to make various pipelines of Python. And suppose this is the basic part of this. And just write zero one basic and start giving my own, you know, versions of Hello all, suppose I write this. So this is just a simple, very basic kind of a file in file I have created, which I want to show that it has been activated in your environment. And when you just go back and you see the, you know, the structure of your format, you can see that this is the test one folder you've navigated, you've activated the environment project ML, you created a file and now you're navigating and now you're creating all the Jupyter notebooks into this activated environment of Python. Okay, so this is the first and subsequently if you will activate this environment and start working on it, everything, your entire project structure and folders, files would be 
displayed here. The advantage of virtual environment is that if you really want to working, uh, I would say that if you're working on a different project which require different packages and versions and uh, it, it want to be isolated from several other projects, then yes, virtual environment is a good to go. Else you can work on simply, you know, where you've installed your Jupyter or uh, by default you're working wherever, wherever you're working. So I'll just control C, I'll just close my Jupyter notebook. So I've just hit control C simultaneously on a keyboard. And then you can simply deactivate. You can simply like deactivate and your project ML would be deactivated. Okay. And now suppose you want to go back to the C drive. You can, sorry, you can simply write C and you can get back to the base. You can uh, get back to the base that is the C drive. This is how you navigate to different various folders and navigate and create your own virtual environment. And I hope it would be of some use. Okay. And let me know if you want to know various commands or if you have got any end of problem related to, you know, conda and command prompt commands. Okay. And do check out other videos which are related to command prompt. I will provide it in the end section on the end cards. Thank you for watching.